Good morning. My name is Jackson, and today I will be explaining mitosis. My partner Gabby will ex will be explaining what happens to chromosomes, centrioles, centromeres, spindle fibers, the nucleus, and the cell membrane during mitosis. There are six phases of the cell cycle, including interphase, prophase, metaphase, anaphase, telophase, and cytokinesis. A fun, easy way to remember these steps in order is to think of the saying, I pray mostly at the church. If you use the first letter of each of the words in the saying, it's going to correlate to the steps of the cell cycle in order. First up on the list, interphase. Interphase is the first stage of the, cy of the cell cycle and is known as the step where the cells grow and copy DNA. Interphase prepares the cell for mitosis and includes GAP0, GAP1 synthesis, and GAP2. These stages help the cell switch from interphase to prophase through a long period of time. Interphase takes up 90% of the time in the cell cycle, making it the largest stage. During interphase, as we previously stated, there are multiple steps, which include GAP0, GAP1, synthesis, or the S phase, and GAP2. During GAP1, the cell is growing. During the S phase is when the synthesis of the DNA occurs. And then during GAP2 is when the cell prepares for mitosis and grows again. Now for the first phase of mitosis, prophase. Prophase is the phase of mitosis where double genetic material is separated in the cell. Prophase is known as the getting ready stage where the spindle fibers form. The, dupl the duplicated chromosomes in the cell condenses and becomes visible. After the spindle forms, the nucleus disappears and the nuclear envelope starts to break down in the cell. During prophase, the first phase of mitosis, but the second in the cell cycle, the duplicated chromosomes condense and become visible. The centrioles move to opposite sides of the nucleus and help organize the spindle. As the spindle forms, as Jackson said, the DNA strands attach at the centromere. The nucleolus then disappears, and this is when the nuclear envelope breaks down. The second phase of mitosis, metaphase, is known as the phase where the chromosomes line up in the center or in the middle of the cell. A good way to remember what happens in metaphase is to think of the letter M and match it with the word middle. During this phase, spindle fibers connect the centromere of each chromosome to the spindle. Metaphase, in my opinion, is the best phase of mitosis because it is the easiest to remember and the, chromos and the chromosomes form straight together and uniform. Jackson pretty much explained everything that happens in the metaphase, how the centromeres of the duplicated chromosomes all come together and line up in the middle of the cell, and how the spindle fiber connects the centromeres of the chromosomes to the poles of the spindle. Now for the third stage of mitosis, anaphase. Anaphase is known as being the phase of mitosis where the chromosomes split apart. During this phase, chromatids separate in order to become individual chromosomes. These chromosomes separate into two different groups near the spindle poles. You can also memorize what happens during anaphase by remembering the letter A and matching it with the word apart. This phase along with metaphase are both pretty easy to remember just because of how simple they are. During anaphase, the centromeres of the chromosomes are pulled apart and the chromatids separate, making them individual chromosomes. The spindle fibers that are not connected to the chromatids lengthen the cell, making more room for when it comes time for the cell to actually separate. Here comes the fourth stage, telophase. Telophase is known as the phase where the two nuclei start to form. During this phase, chromosomes spread out into a tangle of chromatin and the spindle breaks apart, causing the nucleus to become visible. You can remember what takes place in, in telophase by thinking of the letter T and connecting it to the words two nuclei forming. Yes, just as Jackson said, this is the phase where two nuclei form in order for the cell to split into two separate ones. The nuclear envelope is going to reform around each cluster of chromosomes and the spindle breaks apart causing a nucleolus to become visible in each of the daughter nuclei. We have finally reached the last stage of mitosis, 
Cytokinesis. Cytokinesis is known as the phase where the cells officially divide. The process of cell division is finally complete and the cell is now split into two. But cytokinesis is different in animal and plant cells because of the cell membrane in animal cells. When an animal cell divides, the cell membrane is drawn into the cytoplasm and gets pinched into two equal parts. Then these parts each develop a nucleus and organelles. Plant cells, on the other hand, have to form a cell plate to divide the cell because of the cell wall not being able to break in half. Over time, the cell plate forms into a new cell wall and the cell splits. Thank you. Thank you so much for watching our presentation and we really hope you enjoyed it and learned something from it.